Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Amaze, who is a very famous Twitch streamer, and he plays Magic. He is paid by Wizard of the Coast to play Magic, so kind of an interesting conflict of interest, but nonetheless, he was DQ'd from GP Vegas. I can summarize it by saying that he pushed a judge and got into a physical altercation of some type. Now, what he did was he posted the judge's name and to his many followers, and of course, as social media is wanted to do, especially on Twitter, they basically destroyed the judge. So let's talk a little bit about Amazing and kind of who he is and what happened here I think it is fascinating to know um, a little bit of background. He is a Hearthstone player, and that's his claim to fame. He's okay at magic, not the best at magic, but nonetheless, he has a lot of people who follow him. And that's the exact person that you want at the Mythic Invitation. You want to be... You want to have this guy at the MPL. He's not an MPL member, but he's the type of person that you want. You want to grab all the Hearthstone players who are tired of playing Hearthstone and now want to play Magic or a different game. He had fun at the event. However, he did get DQ'd. Very unfortunate. Um, he does. We're going to look at his apology letter. There's a lot of apology letters going on in Magic today. And here we have Wedge. What can be done here? This sounds like a clear abuse of power, especially if there's an eyewitness testimony that collaborates a maze statement. For anyone to be treated this way, especially someone held in very high esteem, is wrong. So in Wedge, basically he is trying to suck up to a maze by saying, it's kind of funny. <laughs> and here we go. Start by doing what your doctor told you. Lose weight and exercise. Now you try not being obsessed with me. I am. D don't be obsessed with me. I, I mean, that's like the defensive. We're going to go on a rabbit hole for a little bit because this Wedge dialogue is fascinating. He made comments about Brian as well from the old school magic and uh, it's always funny to see his responses to his, quote, fan. Talk is cheap. Reply back after you're under 200 pounds and stop scamming money for magic product when you're supposed to be paying off that medical bill. Ah, fat shaming. Classic. Why don't we just throw him in the oven, right? Because he clearly isn't worthy enough to exist. Here's your blah, blah, blah. Feeling good there, bud. Anyway, I just find it funny that when Wedge is accusing people of stealing money, cheating, um, he gets really like out. The, and in this case, he's accusing a judge of treating a famous magic tuber incorrectly. Report this judge, please. I would not want to play an event they were involved in. Levi says, wow, that's offer, Frauden says. That's right here is why I don't go to this crappy event where judges feel like they own. You know, I'm very anti-judge, as you can probably tell from the uh, Predator videos that I've, been, I've made in the past. These are people volunteering their time, and now they're being pushed and hit and abused and <laughs> destroyed on Reddit. I mean, it's glorious, in my opinion. You know, there's a few things I do not like. I don't like pro Magic players. Amaze is not a pro Magic player. He's a famous guy playing Magic. That makes all the sense to me. That would be like if PewDiePie played Magic and we paid him some money to do so. Great marketing, makes a lot of sense. What doesn't make sense is why are we playing Efro? There's this dude in Germany who doesn't even stream and no one knows who he is. And he's an MPL member. <laughs> I'm like, wait, who is this guy? And I Googled him and there was nothing about him. I'm like, is this like, like a wizard of... Um, Wizard of the Coast employee or something? <laughs> Is this how they're paying their staff? Anyway, I digress. Amaze has interesting videos. He is a content creator. 
that is not from magic, but is actually very good at creating content and interacting. You know, if you want to see the state of the MPL right now, um, just watch a video by Huey Jensen. It's unwatchable. It's unbearable. It's a, it's four hours or two hours of its cut of a guy who is not interacting with chat and heaving and hoeing. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know. Oh my gosh. For two hours. It's like the reverse of the popular trend ASMR, I believe it's what it's called, where you listen to someone's voice and it's very calming. It's like listening to a person in distress because he is in distress. And then you got Efro. Okay, let me focus on this. I'm not going to... Um... <laughs> he pushed a judge. I mean, imagine if you're just a poor judge. No one should be a Magic the Gathering judge. A, half of those people have been, you know, there's predation, you know, pre- uh, preying on young children has happened. There's no background checks. And I still don't believe there's background checks. Let's be honest here. How many of you guys think that there were background checks? for GP Las Vegas, the our Magic Fest Las Vegas. Like let's seriously, let's be honest. It's almost like asking Weds, did you with your 150k get buy health insurance? Why would we even ask that question when we when we know the answer is no, you did not. Um so the question is did Channel Fireball do a background check on all their judges? Maybe some of them are uh, accused of violent crimes against other people. Amaze, I like him. He's good for the. He's very good for the Magic brand. Anyone who Wedge sucks up to, you can assume is bigger than Wedge and is better for the Magic brand than Wedge himself. And I think that um, we need a whole NPL of Amazes. Now, what he did, I'm not sure uh, if it's been exaggerated. This this qualification was for unsporting conduct, aggressive behavior. None of us know exactly what happened or what the actions the head judge believed met the definition of aggressive behavior. So, I don't agree with Wedge. I do agree. I don't believe that just because you're famous, you can push a judge around. Even a judge as lowly as the judge who was pushed around. Oh, back to my category. There are two types of categories of Magic players that I cannot stand. Well, three types. Okay. One, Magic pros who think too highly of themselves. I do like some Magic pros, like Sam Black, although he recently got into a tiff about the old school, which I don't agree with him. But nonetheless, I do like some Magic pros. But Magic pros who think they own the game. Like Efro, when he goes to your FNM, he's not there to have fun. He's there to get everyone banned. Emma, what's her objective? To play Magic or get everyone banned? It's to get everyone banned. She got an entire Facebook group of 100 plus people banned. So I can continue on and on and on about all these great community builders who are building community by banning people. <laughs> it's like it's so illogical, right? Okay, now back to um, number two. Number two is the grinders, the wannabe pros. They're much, they're even worse than the pros, because they're going to cheat you. They're going to steal. They're going to eke out every point one percent, right? They're total losers. Okay, and then my last category of people in Magic that I don't think judges, and the reason I put judges is they're so. Imagine you work for somebody and that person does not pay you. He beats you up all the time. He spits in your face all the time. And he actually tells his customers who are famous. Like, let's say we had a famous customer come to my company and the famous customer wanted to do aggressive behavior on one of my employees. What does that even mean? Well, first of all, let's assume aggressive behavior is punching and shoving and kicking. Oh, no, no, that's not going to fly. That is not going to fly. We're going to throw that dude in jail. But a maze can do it because it's a judge. So I think that when you talk about like at the lowest totem pole, the persona non grata, the even worse than I would say Jeremy being banned for life is the judge. 
not only are you not paid to be part of this program, you pay into the program. So you're paying. So imagine you have a job. Imagine I have a business and I put a job application. And job application says no pay. In fact, you're going to pay me and I'll give you some plastic cardboard that you may or may not be able to sell. And then your our customer base is going to uh, you know going to hit you and push you and beat you up. And of course, you're going to be called out on social media all the time by our customer base and you're going to get abused. Now, our customer base is they love hunting. They just love hunting. So they're going to hunt you. Would anyone lodge? I mean, imagine posting on LinkedIn this job or anywhere this job. No pay, abuse, aggressive behavior from clients, which we have to accept. Potentially getting accused of sexual deviance. Who the blank would apply for this job? And the answer is judges. So I have to make the conclusion. I just have to come to the conclusion that these judges... They're only doing it because this is the one iota where they have power in life, right? They have power over the player. They can get them disqualified. And then they abuse this power. They're, they, they're trading a lot. They're trading their time, their money, their actual money, not their op cost of opportunity. They actually have to pay physical money or digital money to Wizards of the Coast to become a judge. Why would anyone do this job? They're getting pushed and hit and beat up. They're getting slaughtered online all the time. It's got to be because of predation. Like, what other scenario is there like where someone would accept this job? I mean, imagine posting a job for a judge, and but except not... You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that and let you guys know what people say. Bye, guys.